Hello, welcome back. I haven't played for a while, but I do remember that in the last episode we sent Wraithverge into here to see what he did, and then we were going to clean up the mess afterwards. Uh, it seems to have done a pretty good job, if I'm being honest. I'm slightly a little bit concerned right now about the state of my mana, and I very much remember what happens if you try and get in that bed. It's not recommended. It's just the dungeon key. Now, I've been watching uh, Damien slash 42% health explaining armor to me, which has been very useful because I have no idea uh, how armor works in this game, and it turns out my armor class apparently is not being shown uh, here, which is annoying. What happens if I do this? It's two. Okay, thank you then. Um, that's just uh, basically a straight percentage after a transformation of times five. So this happens. Let's do that again. Okay, well, where's a bit of mana? Respawning. Oh. Interesting. It also emptied this place out. That's very, um, Wolfenstein, don't you feel? I love the idea of that trap. I had completely forgotten about that. Uh, until, obviously, I pulled it and then it all came you know, springing back into short-term memory. What should we use here? I've just been watching, uh, Damien playing as a fighter, which is... Definitely my favourite class to play as, um, but it was the only class I ever played as in the old days. Oh, fudge. I didn't even mean to step on that. Um, ooh, apparently, you have to be standing on here to do that. Uh, which means I really didn't get the uh, experience of Hex. I think it's a heretic. Uh, playing as, oh yeah, you can step on it without being squished. That is favouritism right there. I did get 2 HP out of that though. This is open, so we can have another porker later. Um, when you play it without the uh, open GL mode on, it looks very, very nostalgic. Um, especially if you're playing as a fighter, which I played with all the time as a kid, and uh, presumably not with any cheat mode, which I did play on uh, all the time as a kid. But we will uh, avoid that particular unnecessary amount of. Uh, you don't need to know. You don't need to know how many times I cheated. Although mostly I cheated in Doom. Something teleported in. Right now we've cleared this place out to some extent. I think it's up there. Oh, Bishop, very well. I mean, this only is ever going to help us by clearing stuff out now. It's a, it's a perspective of a modern major general that you always, you know, try and see through things, and then spend some time sort of disarming a trap, basically, isn't it? I guess that might pull this down. Um, a modern video game player will know to peek through windows and try and empty areas out when they're in the fudge safe position. <clears throat> because trying to do it you know, when it's too late is too late. Just use your mana as what it's for. Coming this way? Yeah. It's probably spotted me to a sufficient extent that I'm worried. They really don't know how the AI on these things works, if at all, but apparently it's how the heck do I get down these steps. I uh, struggle to use the uh, term AI with any real justification. I do like this place. I remember this, but I don't remember why I remember it. It's one of those ones that rings a bell. Oh, I do remember the fact that it had these weird shadows, which are pretty cool. Now, this reminds me of the Duke Nukem engine, because I was remember Duke Nukem has always been a bit of a sore spot, because I couldn't get the editor to work. And it turns out if you go on the internet and ask the internet why it doesn't work, there's a simple fix, but I didn't really have... I wasn't in the habit of using the internet at all when I was making, trying to make maps for Duke Nukem, but I do remember seeing uh, example maps of how to do the cool effects, and it's basically the same engine, except it's not the same engine, it's very strangely different, and I believe it is a completely different engine, don't get me wrong. Oh, this is where the books go. Yeah, there's something that says Thor, uh, Korax? Korax. One of these says Korax. Or should do, and then, oh, here we go. So those would be the books that we picked up earlier. Now we deal with the things that are teleported in and I can't find. Where are you? Oh, 
Ooh, I see. So this is probably not going to be a very useful uh, weapon in this situation. Oh, okay, yeah, help. I have got my quartz files. Eh, help on my hotbar so I can actually use them without going, oh, what am I doing? Why am I throwing for sets? And then poisoning myself. It's actually mana. I'm like, you know, so take that. I've got the microphone. Trying to run faster by leaning forwards. You know, this isn't a... It's not a Game Boy. But everyone knows that in handheld devices, of course, tipping the device makes you turn harder or do anything. The physics of the real device applies to the physics of the game. Unfortunately, we are now quite low on weaponry. Well, let's nip through here. I don't think there's anything else to do in here either. I don't know where this key comes from, the dungeon key. I'm not going to pull that uh, trap switch again because it was funny the first time. Quickly loses its luster. Oh, plenty of HP in here though. Ta da! I do miss having the fighters everything basically. So now that they've opened Korax's book. Well, we've solved Korax's pu puzzle. It's another one of those suspension of disbelief sort of situations, isn't it? Because, I mean, why would there be books that say Korax and then two of them are missing and then when you put them in, you unlock some magical... Somehow there's a magical connection. Why don't you come this way, hey? Is it going to work? Oh, fair enough then. Uh, there's some magical connection between those books and whatever it did. This is cool. Um, and yet... Apparently removing those two books presumably undid the thing that I have now redone. You know, it's easy to suggest. The axe key, very well. Um, I, whenever you see something like this, you kind of think, how did you get it into that situation in the first place? I guess we go through here, then. What do you think changed? We have filled in the Corax book. Was that this place? No, that was that place. Cool. I don't want to use my mana against a single enemy, but I don't want to waste everybody's time beating up a single enemy for no really discernible reason. Let's go back in here, then. This is where we got from in the first place. And I remember leaving these things here going, who cares, I'm not going to come back. Maybe I'm going to come back. Honestly, I don't know whether we need to be here. Um, obviously, Damien will be watching going, what are you doing? You need to go to XYZ. Well, first of all, I'm getting this mana, uh, and that is perfectly legitimate use of my time, I think. Secondly, I don't know what you know. So, I'm basically playing this game through for the first time, uh, with a lot of I remember this going on, but at the same time, it's not like I've got an encyclopedic knowledge of this whole game to draw upon. Um, I mean, I haven't really played it since then. I haven't played the tools. Okay, so now we're in here. I don't think there's anything else in the desolate garden. Turn the but I don't need that. No, I'm pretty sure this is it for this level, so we might as well head back. Maybe something else has changed, and I still would like to know which of the doors has opened that was mentioned in the secret level at the end of the Shadow Wood. Nope, I'm seeing things. I thought there was a switch there. There was not. I like that the uh, corpses lay around. Modern games are all too <coughs> eager to tidy up after themselves to save memory and, in fairness, dump more of that mem memory into the general experience of the game, but disappearing corpses seem so strange, don't you think? Well, they've done the... Hmm. Matt? What have you got for me? I hope I'm not standing on a spike. I'm standing very close to a spike. But I'm not standing on a spike, so I can't fault me for that. I really feel like there's more to the gibbet. <laughs> that, um, pretty much why you don't just stand around in the map in a game like Hex. I'm going to press it. I was waiting for it to go up. Maybe it doesn't go up because I've like lowered this one. That would make sense. Okie dokie. We have to find the keys then. 
been up here. We haven't been in there. There's clearly a key in there, but I've no idea how to get to it. Can't really apply anything. It's like, it's not like we have... I can't just use a torch on this torch, you know, it's not how it works. But then now we can see, so there is that. Hardly ever use torches. Most... Uh, the, the lighting on this is actually quite nice. I feel like in the previous games... Well, in Doom there was some, like, night vision or something. Which set all the sector lights to full, and then... In the Heretic, you also had uh, a torch. But there must be something else in here, right? I mean, we opened the thing. How is that hurting me? I very much recall that there was, like, something to pick up. Did not one of these have, like, Korax's head on it or something? No? I'm sure we find Korax's head, or, or Yorick's head, or whatever it's called, because you need to put it on that statue. We've done it before. Where is it? Hmm. Because I've done this before. I've spent ages running around looking for the uh, <laughs> the thing that happened as a result of these, and it wasn't just the bishops. It was the appearance of the quest item, basically. Hmm. Well, I'm sure by the time I have uploaded this, I would have found it. Let's zoom in a bit. I'm aware that I've accidentally changed... Um, my active item I should definitely consider changing that back looks like there's something in the great hall there uh, oh, oh, oh. come on now if I can move I don't get crushed that seems fair oh what happened there things popping in there We'll have a fair share of things popping in. There's a button right here. Now what? <laughs> oh. Torches, of course, are well known to flash when they're running out. If you uh, don't really see that very often in real life. Oh, apparently we can just go straight. How long have I had that? Alright then. Oh, oh. Do not want. Run away. Uh, well, I wasn't looking, but literally the entire floor disappeared. See, that's one of those obvious traps, right? I mean, the floor starts shaking. You peg it. You don't stand around going, ooh, I wonder what's happening. You get to the last safe spot. It's like Windows, you know, safe, safe spot thingy. You know, restore to last no good position. Well, that's gone down, so does that mean that we can do something else in here? That was my last chance to do all those things. Uh, this is a bad place for you to be right now. I'd rather you were not here, because I don't want to have to fight you on this ledge. We do have some mana, but like, why use it? I don't need the HP. Can we get in here now? Yeah. I feel like I solve a puzzle and then I don't actually make any progress as a result. Like It's not like I've been given the axe key or the dungeon key. I just... Now there's something else here. Or has something changed somewhere else? Normally it tells you if things have changed in other places. Just to keep you from guessing too much about all the various permutations of a single event that could possibly have happened. Just go around getting all this XP from collecting, killing these Ettings, right? Oh wait, what's our armor class like now? Too? Didn't I not pick up that? I'm sure I picked up those braces and yet here I am. <laughs> Without any armor still. Oh, brilliant, thanks. Uh, I mean, what would you do in this situation? Try pressing more buttons? I'm not quite sure why I needed that um, that lift to be raised. Considering I'd already been over there. I don't know where I got the head from. Maybe I picked it up and didn't notice. That would be entirely possible, I suppose. You know, I'm like... That corpse is floating. Pretty sure that's not that normal. Whatever you may think. There's nothing here, is there? I've done this. That light's on. The switch remains on. I can't get that quartz flask even if I wanted it. There's an afrit. You can uh, dispatch, but it doesn't really help. Those pillars, though. Got a lot of work to do all of a sudden. Hmm. I might put a small cut in here, 
and bring you back when I figured out what the heck I'm supposed to do next. I'll see you in a minute. Uh, please stop shouting at the screen. I can't hear you. A switch has appeared. This pod. Very subtle. This is my favourite level right now. That's not why. That, that kind of puts a little bit of a damper on it for me. Yeah. Gross things shooting at me from afar. They're kind of ruining my enjoyment of the situation, if I'm being honest. I might have to alter my tactic here. I don't want to use all my mana on single enemies, as previously mentioned. That was very close. But at the same time, it really is 15 mana per thing. I guess it's not too bad to use green mana right now. Because we've got more than we need. Come on. You were shooting at me rampantly and without delay before, and now you're going that way. Find this hard to believe. Sunny Jim. I really like the design of this level. <clears throat> Considering what they've done with a complete inability to actually overlap themselves. Very cool. Here, five. That's obviously going to open by some magic in the future. Stay down here too. Oh, okay, fair enough. You apparently get off scot free by diving at the last minute. There's a lot of um, just detail in this level. I definitely had fun with it. I seem to remember making similar levels for a similar reason. It just seems very easy to make detail. Also, you just swing your uh, mace around like this, no problem. Just to uh, note how the graphics are cut off at the sides there, because <laughs> we don't actually have... Uh, we have more pixels. Because it's the future. Oh, alright. Guessing that goes back to the hub. Also, it does this. You know, you can usually tell when I actually jump. <laughs> because the mouse twitches. Oh god. I remember this now. I don't like it. We do end up getting out there. In fact, there's the key that we need. It was like the dungeon key. Um, I think we just go for it. Faster, please. I wish these things would actually successfully shoot one another. Also, excuse me. You shot me in the head, even though I can't see. You shot me in that tiny little bit of my head. <laughs> you shot me in the forehead. That's good. Again, Cleric really doesn't have anything against these things. I mean, I have a lot against them in, in the literal sense, in, in the idiomatic sense of I hate them. I don't have anything with which I can really sensibly fight them, unless I use them bunch of poison cloud shots like this. I think even then it's still immune to the damage when it's uh, got its shield up. I don't know. Maybe we can have that confirmed by our resident Hexen expert. Hexpert. <laughs> See? See what I did there? Um, we really need this. Ha 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 ha. Screw you, hippie. That's a very primitive auto aim there, correcting my, my angle. Step off, bro. Two of them. Well, let me see that, but okay. I'm sure, I'll get the job done. In time, and I'll help. Oh my god, it's such an annoying sound. I apologise, but at the same time, I didn't write it. So, go back in time and complain to Raven Software, I guess. And id. Oh, I don't want to pick up that last crystal vial just now, but I think we're doing okay. I am not overly concerned, as Counting Crows said before. Counting Crows? Yeah. On um, August and everything after. Anna begins? Uh, that yeah, it's Anna begins. So we're going to pick this up. Dungeon key. I'm pretty sure this level's a lot bigger than this, by the way, which is why I have. Uh, a lot of regard for it. It's not just this small zone that you see here. Or there's another one which has the same basic principles. 
<coughs> that obviously opens because it is different from everything else. Just because it's different doesn't mean it's special. <coughs> because you are unique does not mean you are useful. Because this is where I want to be. Thank you. This remains red though. Look at that. So maybe it works different. No. It's one of those things that just it remains red and it feels like that should mean something, but it really doesn't. So we'll go in here and uh, scare ourselves with bishops. That's it. Oh, okay. I do like this whole hub, actually. I think the design of this hub is actually... has something going for it. This is actually the hub that I thought we were on previously. I mean, these, these decals and stuff. How is this not a door right now? Does that hurt? No. Come on. That's not it though. Shoot it. Mm -hmm. Shoot this guy. There must be a switch that I can't see. Use everything. Just press E on all the things. They're spawning. Not in a good way. Uh, righto. Well, we've opened the door, so our work here is done, I guess. Now maybe we can go down here and get to where the bishops were. Yeah. So that's where I want to be, Beverly Hills. But that's not where I can get. There's got to be something in here that I'm missing, and it's got to be really obvious, and everyone's going to be shouting at me, and it's going to happen all over again. And this game is actually really confusing, considering it's 21 years old. Seriously. You guys. I mean, they wouldn't have hidden something that is up or down, because although we did have mouse look, we weren't used to it, you know. We didn't, we didn't just do it by default in those days. Yeah. There was a whole courting procedure. Hmm. Why don't I figure it out? And in the next episode, I'll tell you what I did figure out. But by then, of course, someone will have commented to tell me what I'm doing wrong, but I'll have already recorded the next episode. So although it'll be obvious what I've done wrong, and you'll be able to tell me what I've done wrong. It won't actually be that useful, because I'll already, unfortunately, know. That looks like a secret room as well. Look, how can you do this to me? These are all secret room tropes, and you're just saying no. Well, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll enjoy the next one. Good day.